Well, in reading from the Gospel of St. Luke today, I read about the time that Jesus was baptized. And it said that he was baptized, and while he prayed, the heavens were opened. And a dove came and descended upon him. And the voice, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Well, this is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Life's devotional. And I thought about how uh, Christ experienced quite a blessing that day. God putting his seal of approval upon his son and uh, giving the Holy Spirit as a helper to his ministry. And I thought the words that kind of jumped out at me in this incident, though it's a pretty picture, yet the words that really jumped out at me were, the heavens were opened. And I thought, how long has it been since we have prayed and the heavens were opened? Now, prayer is a mighty uh, valuable commodity that we have. We can pray anytime, any place. And yet I think sometimes our prayers are nothing more than ritual, nothing more than routine. We pray because we have been taught to pray. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. So we can learn some pretty, uh, pretty nice uh, prayer language. And I've heard some people say some really nice flowery prayers. Sometimes wish that I could give some of the more flowery prayers that I've heard others pray, but I do think about, you know, how uh, prayer is such a wonderful privilege and it's such a wonderful responsibility as well, but there's got to be the reality of prayer and not just the formality of prayer. And I'm afraid that a lot of my prayers are just formal prayers. I want the reality of reaching heaven. And I believe that if we really reach heaven with our prayers, that the heavens will be open. We sometimes sing the little chorus, The windows of heaven are open. The blessings are falling today. There's joy, joy, joy in my heart since Jesus made everything right. I gave him my old tattered garment. He gave me a robe of pure white. I'm feasting on manna from heaven, and that's why I'm happy tonight. You know, it's essential that the windows of heaven are open, and God pours out his blessing upon us. If we're going to be able to sing, that's why I'm happy tonight. I believe that God has a whole lot more blessings for us than what we enjoy. We always enjoy the blessing of initial salvation. Oh, the burden of sin is lifted. What a joy that is. We uh, enjoy those times that uh, God just answers uh, a prayer concerning our needs. And and I believe that that's good, that we can pray and, and uh, have our needs supplied because we have prayed. God opens the windows and and supplies our need, but how about just being blessed? I mean, uh, a joy unspeakable and full of glory. How long has it been since God has opened the heavens while you were praying and just blessed you real good? Well, I think we need more of God's blessing. I know I do. I want to not just pray when I need something from God. I don't want to just pray to fulfill, to fulfill my responsibility that I have been taught that I have. I want to pray that the windows of heaven are open and God pours out a blessing upon me, blessing that is worth more than anything that this world can give, blessing that has so much value that it cannot be purchased. I want the blessings of joy and happiness, and I believe that we need to pray and God will open the window He'll pour out his blessing upon us. Heavenly Father, we want to see the heavens open with more of your blessing that results in joy and happiness and peace. Pray, Lord, that thou will help us to recognize that prayer is not just a ritual nor a formality, but it can be a reality that opens the windows of heaven, resulting in your great blessing. Bless us, keep us on down throughout life, we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lord Light's Devotion with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.